but share a little bit about how you guys how you guys got saved and how gospel gangsters even started. Because I know there's a lot of people out there that probably never even heard that story. Yeah, well, um, the conversion started, you know, with myself and one of the former members of our group, TikTok, you know, with us getting born again and um, him being the ex-blood. Okay. And, and I was the ex crip you know, we just... And those were rival gangs in L.A. Basically, yeah, this one, but this day. one, gang banging was really turned up, you know, it was yeah. going down. We what, was, what we years was this, probably? This was like 90, 89, 90, and people were dying 92. on the streets. Yeah, I mean, this, it was real turned up. When we was getting brought in, his father was snatching up uh, us off the street, and as we came off the streets, just from the hunger from us, you know, I had got shot my personal self, you know, Chitty Baby was from my neighborhood, and matter of fact, he called me up, and was like he got into it with some guys and he needed some help so i came and i ended up getting bust on and it, and it kind of made me think man i could have lost my life today yeah and it made me start seeking well you know i was like well god if you save my life if you have a plan for me then whatever it is i'm i'm, I'm willing to open up you got to save me you got to remove the things that's in my life that's gonna hinder me from walking with you he started removing friends that i used to do robberies with um, people I used to, you know, from females or anything in my life that wasn't like him, he began to remove things from it. Yeah. And he began to put people in my path that was had a heart after him. And yeah. this is where I met TikTok, because he had just got out of juvenile hall. He got out of youth authority. He just did life as a juvenile. Wow. And he was going back to his neighborhood, which he was a Damu. He was going back to the mafias. And you'll see this, and we have a documentary that's yeah. coming out explaining it. But he was going back, and the Holy Spirit spoke to him. If he went back this time, he wouldn't make it out. Wow. And a lady who went to church with my mother ended up bringing him to church, and my mother brought me to church. And we looking at each other. He got on red, and I got on blue. And we, went, But at the same time, we know the Father got us here for a reason. Yeah. We ended up being prayer partners and brothers. And How old were you guys then? 19, 20 years, 19 years old. 19, like 19 years, years old. old, yeah. And um, we ended up being prayer partners. Chili Baby was still in my hood. He was still selling dope. He was a dope man in my hood. And I used to come back to my neighborhood, roll to the dope house, tell Chili Baby, hop in. I'd drive him around the corner, share the gospel with him, let him know I'm. And he had, he wow. couldn't feel me. Like, you kicking him with the blood? And I'm like, but he's born again now. He's free. I'm free. You, he yeah. knew how I used to be. I mean, when we was gang banging, we wasn't members. We was gang bangers. Yeah. It's, it's and you would like never be friends with somebody from the opposite gang. No, it was a, it was a cable. Don't go down like You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It was mm -hmm. only cracking. When so I, when were, I, you, were you in the gang too then? Yeah, we yeah. were from the same hood. I was a crip too. Like when he was saying, when I first met TikTok, even when I first got saved, you know how hard, you, yeah, yeah I, I didn't even want to sit by me in church, you feel me? Come on, because, man. you know, where I come from, <laughs> sure. that's just something we don't do, you know what I'm saying? Likewise, the Definitely. other side, you know what I mean? So, so I, I don't know if there's a whole other story to this, but in terms of when you guys did get saved, was it hard getting out of the gang or was there opposition there? Well, it's going to always be opposition because that's what the enemy is going yeah. to do is to keep you in the position he has you in, especially when it's, that's down. Yeah. But... The, the the you know the, the the blood the blood of Christ is enough. Yeah. You feel me? And when those yokes were broke, we were delivered. You know, a lot of people don't don't come and receive all the Father has for them. Yeah. They just sometimes people just want uh, fire insurance. You know what I mean? Yeah. They just don't want to go to hell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we really desired change. We wanted we wanted this lifestyle. Even the the pull against us, we would I mean from any we would embrace each other. We would hold each other. Yeah. That help me. I don't want to go back. We we didn't want to go back into the world, yeah. you know, and we felt, I know me personally, I felt I'd rather live with Jesus than die with the devil. Come on, man. So my commitment was I'd rather get, if they, if I got to get killed, if whatever is going to happen, I'm dying in the kingdom. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Whatever is going to go on, it's going to happen in the kingdom. Yeah. But I knew under that covering, once I go back into the world, the devil will do what he wants to me. And I knew if I return back, it would be seven times worse. Wow, man. <laughs> That's incredible. So you guys, you guys, did you guys always in love hip hop growing up? I mean, were you guys already rapping we, before we, you got saved? We, we, man, hip hop has always been a part of always, my life. Always I mean, part, okay. I was rapping. I had to deal with Profile Records. I don't know if you remember Profile. That's that's not even that company's not even around okay. no more. Profile Records. That's Run DMC and Quick was with Profile and all oh, that. Okay. I had a deal lined up with Profile Records when I was young, and um, it was because I was I was rapping. Like the Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak. Yeah. And that was in my heart, my hood, my homies, what I did, you know, how to how to make it on the street, you know. Yeah. And I started rapping all together because I had a deal in my home where he was producing. He produced for a lot of producers now. My boy Silk was like, man, this company is interested in you. They want you. I had material, everything, but 
I knew that the lifestyle was so real to him. Like, life and death is in the power of the tongue. Speaking death, and I knew if I released it, I would probably die in, as a result of it. Yeah. For the negativity I was putting out mm. there. And so I refused to do it. And two months later, I got shot, and, and I ended up getting saved. And then the Lord visited me in a dream, because I stopped rap. I thought all I was worldly. I thought that was just the devil, because that's all I rapped. That's all yeah. I knew. I knew nothing about gospel rap, period. Never even heard of a gospel rapper. And then my brother-in-law brought some gospel rap, and I was, at that time, I was like, man, this is garbage. This is whack. But <laughs> at the same time, he said, yeah, it might be whack, but their words is pure. They rapping about the Lord. And when I seen I went to sleep that night, the Holy Spirit began to visit me and was like, son, I hadn't rapped in like a while. I, had, yeah. I gave rap up because I thought it was the devil. And the father began to visit me and he said, I didn't want to take the gift from you. I gave you the gift and it comes without repentance. But instead of you telling him about your hood and how many people you could kill and how many guns you got, tell him about my plan of redemption. Mm. Tell, share, he said, life and death is in the power of the tongue. You can speak life to a dying generation or death. Wow. And I begin to use... The, the, like he said, we overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony. That was one of our popular songs, testimony. We began to testify what God has done to us and just sharing that. And he said they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony and loved not their lives unto the death. So we died to ourselves. It's no longer us that live. It's Christ lives through us, you yeah. feel me, and in us. And we gave our lives up. We been stopped chasing fame. We been stopped chasing uh, hit right. We're not trying to be rap stars. All we care about is being servants. Well, I met them. I, I met them at a show. It was just I met Solo. It was just a trip. Yeah. You know, the, I, I I admired him lyrically for you know what he was saying was so powerful. At the time when Snoop was out, he had just came out. You know what I'm saying Snoop was dope, but he was way doper than anybody yeah. ever heard because the words he was spitting and the truth that was behind what he was spitting and he knew what he was talking about because he's experienced the lifestyle that he was talking about. Yeah. And yeah. it made me just want to change who I was, you know, and, yeah. and start thinking. So, you know, just just as a writer, he's one of the most phenomenal rappers I've ever heard. That's awesome. Period. Yeah. You know, you, you, they don't even hear the stuff. If we don't use. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, and now you guys are actually looking for the next gospel gangster. Next gospel yes, gangster. Yeah, so tell us about gospel that. Gospel doing, yeah. Yeah, we have a reality show right now that'll be hitting them airways real, real soon, soon called The Next buddy, Gospel Gangster. Really also, um, at, when you, at our website, they'll be able to submit, you know what I'm saying, as far as them being coming up to uh, try, try out, you know, because what we're looking for is we're recording another project and we got a big situation going on. And a lot of people been saying, hey, man, since TikTok, TikTok not there, can we, you know, I, I, let me send you this, let me ask me. He said, well, well, maybe we need to make this a little bigger. You feel me? Because I believe God got something for us. Yeah. You feel me? Because the kingdom multiplies as well. So That's we good. believe we're going to move forward and we're going forward and we want to give someone else an opportunity to be a part of our ministry. Come on. Yeah. And so what it's going to be about, you know, first, you know, you're going to have to be able to bust and spit that flame. Oh, okay, Number come one. on. Number two, you're going to have to be a servant. Sure. And, it's going to be what it takes to be a gospel gangster, you know yeah. what I mean? So it ain't just about rapping, it's just like, are you really down with the ministry? Totally, are totally. You really, are, do you really have a heart for God, or, or do you just want to be a star? Because yeah. if so, this ain't the place for mm. you. And, and where can, what, what's the website so they can know that? It's therealcampaign.com. Real, and so the you guys, are you guys working on a project right now? Or is yeah, yeah, we're working on a project yes. right and any, now. Any kind of tentative data when this is coming out, or are you hoping to... Well, we, we yeah, it's all in God's time. Yeah, yeah like, yeah. like you know, we talk but, about in a couple in months, very, you know. Yeah, in yeah. Very, very, so there's very time for you to apply. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you're, you're I'm right. gonna apply. <laughs> and don't, you know, hey, God, man looks on the outward appearance, God looks yeah. in the heart. There's, <laughs> yeah. there's well. talent somewhere. In there. There's talent somewhere in there. Yeah. Yeah. But, but solo, man, you, you guys, honestly, you guys' story is inspiring to so many people. And honestly, oh, this show is watched by so many different people all over the world. I, I just want you to take a minute, real quick. Maybe just look at this camera, one, one of you guys, and just mm -hmm. encourage people. Maybe they're going through something. Maybe someone today is in a in a place where they don't feel like they can get out. You know what I mean? But uh -huh. but you guys are a story of people that were able to get out and able to take something that was going negative but turn around for good. Well, I would say. No matter whatever you're going through out there, God is able, Come on. period. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care how hard it is. Try them. I mean, you might have tried sex. You might have tried drugs. You might have tried banging. You might have tried murder. You might have tried all these things. I would say, try Christ. Mm. Try yeah, it. He works. I mean, yeah. try. I mean, from the situation I was in, I was in a, a hopeless situation. I was in a situation where... I contemplated just why should I even go on? I mean, it was times I couldn't love myself mm. because 
I didn't love no, I didn't love nobody else, nor myself. I didn't care if I died or if I hurt someone else. Like the Bible says, love your neighbor as you love yourself. I didn't love me. I wanted to, I didn't care if I died at a table. You killed, if you shot me, it didn't matter. And Christ gave me that hope. Now, I understand, since I have him, I understand how precious life is. Mm. And now, I want to live. See, a lot of people live reckless lives because they don't have hope. Mm. They don't, it's like when you seen the Twin Towers, people were jumping out of the 80 stories because they felt they had no hope. If I stay here, I'm going to die. Some people blow their brains out because they think they're at the end. Some people just do dope until they... I don't even want to be in reality. And I know a lot of people facing those situations, but I'm going to let you know, Christ is a healer. He's a deliverer. Have you, it, it, and, and until you've been in bondage, you could never really appreciate deliverance. So don't be, don't be dismayed by the situation you're currently in, because God will bring you out. Trust me. And you have not because you ask not. If you call yes. on him, he is faithful. Trust he me. He is. He's Preach faithful. that.